going on YouTube? Okay, so as you can see, that that dent on the rear back of my trailer, um, how that happened? Okay, well, after the, the forklift loaded me up fully, um, the, two, the four bundles in the back of the rear of the trailer, so a lot of wood were sticking out. So um, they're not, you know, they're not perfectly straight, you know. So he'll grab another bundle and go parallel with it. So the forklift is right, uh, right behind my trailer, facing toward the trailer, using the bundle to go up and down, push the wood with the uh, with the bundle of wood that he's already on the forklift, and he'll push it against the rear of my back of my trailer to make those bundles in the back flush when he did the top and when he did the bottom when he when he did the bottom one of his forks hit my trailer so as you can see it caused damage and this is a brand new transcraft 2020 so the damage is expensive you're looking at about six thousand five hundred dollars um just to replace that and that's just an estimate of uh replacing the part and where and um labor of taking the old one off and putting a new one on. Anyhow, there you go. Okay, so you guys saw the pictures. Okay, you guys saw the estimate. Okay, when I went to Maycraft to get an estimate. Now, I'm gonna have to forward um, those pictures that he also took with that estimate and forward it to the, the general manager or the supervisor that works there at that mill, at that lumber mill. What he's gonna do is gonna take that credit case for it to his insurance claim insurance insurance and they're gonna do a claim on it um i already i already called the general matter um matter of fact today and he said that he already uh processed that to the insurance and they already got a case number on that as well he also reviewed the, the uh, review the footages back there when they were uh, in the loading area and he saw that his driver you know, hit my trailer with his forklift, and he was just doing his job. You know, I like the guy. You know, he's cool. You know, but he wasn't careful enough to watch out where those forks at. It's gonna hit my trailer. You know, I mean, I know things happen. You know, but you gotta pay attention. You know, damage like that. You know, you, easy. That person has to drop a UA to see. If he's on any drugs or whatever, whatnot, you know, if he's been drinking, whatever, he has to do a drug test because that costs, you know, the company money. You work for the company, the company expects to make money off of you and you work for them, okay? Regardless if you're paying, getting paid by the hour, even though you're driving a forklift or not, or you're working in there in the mill, you know, doing, you know, what you gotta do over there to, that's what they hire you for, you know? But, um, yeah, he has to do a drug test and I don't know if he's getting fired or not. Um, probably getting written up for it too as well um it happens you know really cool guy you know he's, he's cool you know i don't have problems with him i don't have problems every of these mills that i go to i never have problem you know i work i go over there and get offloaded offload my straps take up my tribe or whatever i keep to myself you know i stay in the truck and wait till i move up or where i where he wants me to be so he can offload me that's pretty much about it i keep to myself i really don't talk to other drivers around you know around there that other uh, other drivers that goes there as well and alpha there as well i'm money kid to myself i don't really talk very much I just you know work deliver my load and just my own business you know anyhow um so now i'm waiting for um the insurance to call me and um talk to me and go from there and uh uh pay me for the damages and that way i can get this fixed not only that you know i will lose time uh, getting this thing repaired because I only have one trailer so the trailer isn't gonna be in the shop I don't know how long maybe a day or two days so if if, 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 if the the guy's gonna fix my trailer the shop that I'm gonna be taking to takes one whole takes a day to, to do it I'll lose one day at work you know that's money right there you see I only have one trailer so I hope the company see me for that too you know it's not my fault you know the forklift guy works at you works at, at that company at that lumber mill at least compensate me for that too as well at least you know that's only being fair you know what i mean because i gotta make a living too i got bills too i got a truck note i got a trailer note you know um my car note the house rent bills phone internet you know we all have bills you know what i'm saying 
So I can, you know, I don't want to miss a day at work, but you know, it is what it is. So that's it. What's going on YouTube? This is Gemini G7 again. We're back, we're back. Those of you guys that are subscribed, already subscribed, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Those of you guys that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, uh, early this morning, um, Monday, um, I'm here in New Waverly, Texas, here near Huntsville, and I'm going to pick up a load. And this one picks up and going somewhere toward uh, Louisiana, somewhere like in Lake Charles or over there in the Quincy area. So uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, pick up some wood, some lumber over here. This truck here has some uh, treated wood heading out right now. All right, guys. Uh, yesterday, man, yesterday it was raining really hard. Yesterday, and um, in Houston, man, it flooded my room. I had to clean that up, and um, I gotta find the leak and everything and fix that too. When and as, as soon as I can, when I have time. Anyhow, it's uh waiting for them to let me know to go in and uh, get loaded and all that stuff, and uh, get loaded and get and get ready to get it and go. I'll catch you guys later. What's going on YouTube? We're back. Okay, so where we got loaded, this one's going to uh, uh, Louisiana. I don't know, I don't know exactly what city, but it's in Louisiana until I get the paperwork to find that address. So they already loaded me. Here we go. It's treated. If you see the the wood has a little has a green tint to it, I mean this this is treated, water treated. So when it rains on this piece of wood, it don't turn to mold or and it corroded up and you know not good so i strapped it pretty good gotta watch out for this this is the and my wheel pops up it hits that that's why i move it far away as i could to it so this is going to like a mom and pop uh normal store i think looking good looking good looking good looking good And they put a long piece of metal on, on a long piece of wood in the middle part. Looking good. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get there. Peace. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. <laughs> Checked in already and worked the location to where we upload. This is like a kind of like a mama pops a hardware store. And uh, he took me all the way down and make a left. I already had the already, so I had to go slow and then um, let them have it pretty much. Yeah, this is a mom and pop place right here. Mom and pop place. More of a um, countryside um, supply, you know, like more community of like the city and all that, like the Home Depots and Lowe's. We're out here in Beater, uh, Beater, Texas, V I D O R, and um, yeah, this is a mom and pop place. As you guys can see, so let's go. 
go on and let them have it. Upload me and go to my next one. I'm going home and deliver the other one and go home. Catch you guys in a bit. procedures and offloading procedures in this place at this plant they're pretty strict they don't allow it some places are okay some places are not I would say this is one of them so I can't really support myself strapping or things are getting loaded etc etc but um, <clears throat> you know it's on right now the camera my GoPro is on my windshield so it's okay but you know me holding it and trying to record this and that they don't, they don't allow it weird right anyhow right ahead that guy's about to get it pulled out that's when he pulls out that's when I pull in go straight all the way down pop a little Yui and uh, get loaded so let's get to it and go from there catch you guys in a bit <laughs>
Scott to my channel. Thank you for your support. And those of you guys, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyhow, continuing on. Um, yesterday, after I got that load on De Quincey, uh, as I was saying before, they are very strict of having cameras, uh, recording, you know, things like that. Um, I went home uh, right after that. Uh, I didn't have enough time to go deliver it, so I delivered this morning, dropped out this morning. And um, Jake had gave me another load that I can do. And uh, says I had a preload the one I did on my second load and dropped this out this morning. So he made a short load of the day and uh, get this thing done and take care and try to finish my small little project at the house. I'm having fun with the house. So right now I'm heading to uh, Noches, Texas, and it's going back to New Waverly where I just dropped up my preload. So I'm heading back right now and uh, heading that way. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, and by the way, this place is new. I've never been here before. Uh, this will be my first time to this location. So uh, let's see how it goes. Catch you guys in a bit. Uh, 
six six uh, six stickers plus shipping it was like 40 bucks it wasn't too bad you know and you know your toys didn't have them um, um uh, loves don't have them tas don't uh tas don't have them uh flying j petro I, I looked you know and i don't see anybody have them so this stick this, this company here that i found online and if you want i'll add the links below to that to that as well uh if you would decide to get those kind of stickers for your, if you guys are doing flatbeds out there um but i'll add the links bottom below and you can you know purchase how many you need i bought six total so three on each side um, I don't think two will do justice, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, right now it's waiting to get loaded and uh, go from here. Get you guys in a bit. Peace. What's up, guys? All right, I'm getting loaded, and my guy in front of me was getting loaded too. So I guess it's a nice trick here. So he's first. I'm getting loaded too a little bit. Only a little bit though. Another forklift. I think you got uh, some two by fours on this one. Yes. Yeah, no, that's four by four. Sorry, that's four by four wood right there. See how the very bottom right there where it makes the rail? See that fork goes up putting load on, but see the rail? See they always hit those, they use that frame right there on where that thing slides up and down. And it hits the rail every time. I got tired of that, that's why I put the stickers on my truck, on my on my trailer. So when they raise up and they put a load on, the very bottom where where the actual frame of the bottom of the forklift, right there in front. So when they load in, they tap the freaking um, rail. See how it's getting close to the rail? I mean, it's cool when you're getting closer, but just don't tap or don't bump it. And it just keeps dings and bumps and, you know, on my rail. And those things ain't cheap to replace. That's a, that's a wide load right there. Kind of wide load right there. And he's loading it right now. These guys are here, they're already loaded. These, this guy's already loaded, he's strapped down. He's already loaded, he's already strapped up, but he didn't leave yet. I think this guy here gets the paperwork. The uh, little small shit right there, that's where the little office where we pick the paperwork. It's getting relieved. That guy right there, he's been sitting there for a little minute. He's having to leave yet, he already loaded. close to the rail see that see he's fine he ain't bumping see he hit it that's fine but i got four cars always bump my rail all the time we're gonna load up see like that see how close to the rail that's fine as long as you don't bump and you know yeah he's doing it right see he didn't bump he didn't bump the rail that's good i know it's a hard task to do but you guys are driving four cars out there and watching my videos we don't like them we don't like our rails to be bumped and dinged up and well, that didn't cost money to fix all right guys well once it load me on full four i'll strap it and uh um, start heading back to waverly and lawful doesn't go home all right guys peace i'll catch you guys later